I've never been berry picking here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> really? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> that's almost sacrilege in our family. <laughs> that's a that's a salal. So, uh, that's salal berries. Okay. Very and cool. That, that's those are small ones. There's a lot bigger ones here. Nice. Now you find find salal um, kind of all over southeast Alaska. They get about this high, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to take you over and show you because we're going to go pick a big bucket of them. Cool. It doesn't what, take what very long. So how long will these berries be good to pick for, Julie? Usually when they come on ripe, they come on in stages and they're usually about a month. So you can pick these up till the first frost. Oh, as nice. long as they aren't shriveled. Once they start to shrivel on the vine, then you don't want to pick them anymore. Okay. Because then they've gotten worms or whatever in them, and so they're not um, as choice. That one? Yeah, you don't want to use any of those. So you pick what's good. So usually with Salal, unless it's a really rainy year, you can usually pick it up to the first frost. So, um, like a three to one ratio works. But cool. This is probably enough for us to head back Sweet. to the test kitchen. And we've been here for 20 minutes. Yeah, right? maybe. Cool. All right, so we've been out and about. Welcome to Celebrity Chef, right back here in the test kitchen with the jam queen of Ketchikan. Woo! -hoo! That would be me. That would be you. <laughs> <laughs> no one can test it because you will not win. <laughs> that's great. Well, so, I sure have made a lot of jam this year, that's for yeah. sure. I've been busy, so. But you've never been in the new test kitchen. This is really cool. We were cramped in like oh, the little, little tiny one. one. Great. So we're good to go. That's pretty much it. So all we have to do is flip, and if you guys want to taste test this one. Oh, I do. Then you can. Because I didn't get the taste test. Oh my gosh. You're in for a treat. Yum. Yum. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. It's really good on, like I was telling the guys uh, with uh, Jacob, I was telling them. Mine is foamy. It is foamy. It's just that all it is is a little bit of foam that comes up when, as you naturally right. make it. Oh, that's so but good. for some reason at the fair, they want all that skimmed off. Whatever. So, um, but my husband loves it. He puts it on all of his everything. I love it. But you can also use um, this jams and jellies. Um, when we did Top Chef, yeah, Brittany Throkel made the the sauce with the wasabi in it for the yes. spring rolls. Yes. Using the salad. Well, I kind of modified that a little bit, and I put it on pork roast. Ooh. So I've used a little bit of wasabi, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil and the salal all mixed together. And I think I have some of your salal out there and yeah. I have a pork roast. And poured yes. it over the pork roast after the pork roast had cooked about halfway through. Nice. It's fabulous. So you can use it to cook. So then I usually take what the hot water left in here and I pour it into the pot that needs That's to be That's exactly what I was fixing to do. Wait, I'm doing it's this It's not wrong. that hot, so I was pulling it out. Oh. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm so low tech. It's getting thrown under the bus time and time again. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw you under the bus. I really didn't. It's all right. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, girl. I'm just here to help and serve. It's okay. I don't have any feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I really wasn't trying to throw you under the bus. It just came out that way. That's awesome. Well, hey, thank you again. We came up You're with welcome. another plan. That's awesome. Great. And you know what? Here's the deal. I've got one more idea for our mix with the guys. Okay. We have Chima come and be the taste tester. Absolutely, he'd love that. Right? That would be awesome. Okay, well, he thanks for watching up. and watch the credits because you'll see the ping. Yeah. Woohoo. You should flip them back upside down. Because I can see this little one's really starting to gel. Hey. And then I usually ping, like Chima calls it, the symphony. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Which oh, is, what you getting? What are we doing here? On the street? Yeah. One of the pieces of